Hello everybody. Wolfie6020 gave me his broken P900 to dismantle and see if it can be repaired. The camera had been dropped and it was totally functional except it would not take photos which, if kind of the primary function. Correction, it would take photos, but they were always black, like the lens cap was still on. I grabbed a serving tray, covered it with an old towel. This way when interrupted the whole workspace can be covered or moved. I find the great idea is a small parts tray to put the various small screws aside. I put a piece of paper as a label in the compartment so I know where the screw should go if I am unable to finish it off for some time. Strong glasses like plus four and a headlight are both very helpful too. You have to be able to see it to fix it. Remove the battery. Remove the case screws holding on the back. Extract two screws on the back side of the camera mount hole. Do not remove all four. Expel one screw on the right side of the bottom beside the battery flap. Don't remove the screw inside the battery compartment. Take out two screws on the left side. Extract two screws on the right side, one under the flap. Pull out two screws under the LCD. Undo two screws inside the flash. There is a tiny slot at the back in between the two screws. Insert a small flat blade into the slot to pop the back off. Carefully open the back, careful of the 2 FFC, flat flexible cable, leads on the right side. On the FFC side of the FFC connectors is a little flap. Insert spudger under it and flip it up away from the FFC. Once open, the FFC will side out easily. Disconnect both and place the back safely to one side. Now to remove the aluminum plate, disconnect the small FFC at the bottom and gently peel the FFC off the plate. Now disconnect the two FFC leads at the top left. Now disconnect the FFC top near dial. Remove the three screws holding the viewfinder. Remove the two screws on the left and five screws on the right side. You should now be able to remove the plate and the GPS and Wi-Fi module. If you want to do stuff to the CCD you can now see the three screws holding the CCD. I found using a straw as a sock tube was a good way to pick up the IR filter. It is almost invisible so be careful. I prefer to remove the lens without removing the CCD sensor. Before removing the three screws that hold this lens inside the lens barrel, you must remove the two FFC to the focus and shutter assemblies. The focus FFC is about 3 mm wide and goes up under the viewfinder mount. It is a push-in, pull-out type connector so with a good pair of tweezers and I was able to remove that FFC. The shutter aperture FFC goes over the left side of the lens at 9 o'clock. It is not exactly the same type of connector as the others, so lift the flap on the opposite side to the FFC entry to release it. Free the FFC from the pin in the center of the FFC, so it is free to slide into the lens holder. When both FFC are loose, you can stand the camera on the lens cap, if not already like that. Remove the three silver screws holding the lens. Very slowly lift the camera and allow the lens to slide down and watch that the FFC are not broken but can slide into the lens holder. Now hopefully you have the lens body separate and no FFC broken. Time to dismantle the lens. Now that lens is in four parts you can inspect 
and fix as required. Look down into the barrel I can see where the FFC leads are broken. That was not good to see. The aperture and shutter assembly are joined to the vibration reduction lens by one screw and two clips. Inspecting the shutter and aperture showed signs of jamming. One leaf appeared bent and stressed. I dismantled the shutter first, the four leaves popped right out, and the the aperture leaves followed instantly creating quite a puzzle. There is a visible crease in one leaf. It would appear that the shock the camera experienced caused a leaf of the shutter and aperture to become entangled. The shutter could not open, and so all photos were black. The focus lens stepper motor is a sleeve inside the cam sleeve. I will show you a few more pictures of the lens internals. Then I will start putting it all back together. All the other photos of chips and bits and other internals I will add to the end for those that want to see. I was able to purchase replacement focus assembly and a new shutter aperture vibration reduction assembly from AliExpress. To reassemble the lens there are a few points to follow. This is the method to follow to reassemble the lens back together. There are various index marks to look for. Once the lens body is assembled you have to insert it back into the lens holder. The two FFC leads need to be threaded back through the respective holes in the lens holder. I use two cotton threads. I put a small piece of sticky tape on the end of the thread. I stuck that on the back side of the FCC. Draw the cotton out slowly as you insert the body into the holder. Line up the key pin between the lens body and lens holder. Insert all three screws and then reconnect the two FFC leads. I next removed the cover of the zoom gears to check them. Here is a few pictures and a video. A few pictures showing how the camera came to life but would not take proper photos. I updated the firmware and charged the battery fully. Then it came to life. Here are some of the pictures I got after that.